and this video is dedicated to mom who's been wondering what I've been up to. Um, I'm out in the Olympic National Forest on the uh, Pacific Northwest and just been out hunting and found a beautiful mushroom called Chicken of the Woods. Its um, Latin name is Latiparus sulfurius. Here we go. Nice vibrant orange color. Um, now it differs from most mushrooms that you may kind of think of. Um, this is growing on a piece of wood, like a log, and uh, whereas most mushrooms, you know, like your store-bought creminis and portobellos uh, have gills, this one doesn't have any gills, it has what's called uh, pores. And uh, the spores excrete from these pores and they launch themselves, you know, millions of por uh, spores every single day out into the wild. And this is how it uh, propagates its species. Now, this is called Chicken of the Woods. It's also known as uh, Quesadilla of the Woods. And um, if you pick it at the right time, it's uh, a tasty edible. You can put it in the oven or saute it. I'd say, you know, you could barbecue it. Putting it in the oven is pretty good too because uh, it kind of maintains a lot of flavor, or the uh, moisture. Whereas sauteing it uh, tends to eliminate a lot of the moisture. Um, so, let's see here. And I came around, I started poking around the woods, and I found a little bit more orange around in the area. And I just want to show you this tree that I found with some more of this right here. Now, check this out. So these are a little bit too mature. It's not going to be too tasty. They're going to be a little too sour. But what a beautiful collection right here. We have even more up here as well, too. Um, kind of found it a little past its prime, but it's still a cool thing to see. And uh, I was kind of surprised when I came here because it hasn't really rained today. And I uh, looked down and uh, this whole spot just below it is just soaked, whereas around it isn't soaked. And uh, the mushroom is sweating, which is pretty cool. Um, it's dripping a bunch of metabolites directly down here. And uh, just for comparison, I want to show you a mushroom from a genus called the Amanita genus. This is a genus that hosts uh, a lot of the deadly mushrooms that people often mistake for maybe garden uh, agaricus mushrooms and uh, this one has gills unlike the one that I just showed you and uh, it has white gills and it has usually has a, a ring and annulus around it and a universal veil um, uh, this is terrestrial it grows from the ground this chicken of the woods right here is uh, known as a saprophyte meaning it just breaks down dead matter and converts it back to the earth whereas that amanita is known as a micro, uh, mycorrhizal mushroom which uh, it does the same thing but it can't grow without the combination of roots around um, so it has a symbiotic relationship with trees and uh, it's a beautiful day here and uh, for more information just log on to mushroomjoe.com and uh, see you later mom